Tesla CFO quitted. Worsening corporate problems and the great CFO resignations. Cruising around in a Tesla is like stepping into a sci-fi movie. Minus the dramatic alien encounters, of course. The acceleration is so snappy. And that electric motor? It's so hushed that you could hear a pin drop. And let's not forget the autopilot, because who needs a chauffeur when your car can practically drive itself? While Tesla has enabled road travel with autopilot technology, they haven't yet mastered the art of steering a company without a CFO at the helm. This ongoing necessity for a CFO is highlighted by the significant reverberations caused by Zachary Kirkhorn's recent resignation in the corporate sphere. Yes, yes, we know not every one of us can afford a Tesla yet, but who knows? This recent turn of events might impact you and your small investments here and there. So stay with us as we dissect this controversial resignation in one of the biggest companies we know. Welcome to Stealth Wealth Society. If you're new to our channel, we help people master the art of building wealth in stealth mode. So click that subscribe button if you haven't already to be updated with our latest videos. Now, back to the resigned CFO. Yep, after an impressive 13-year tenure dedicated to the growth and prosperity of the company, Zachary Kirkhorn is preparing to bid farewell to Tesla at the close of this year. His journey within Tesla is emblematic of a true success story, as he climbed the ranks during a pivotal juncture when the company was gaining substantial traction and amassing considerable financial gains. This significant shift in the corporate landscape holds the potential to exert a considerable influence on Tesla's stock price, which currently reflects a decline of 2.69% for this week in the midst of a broader downturn within the electric vehicle sector. Kirkhorn's engagement in the market was not confined solely to his operational role. He also made a strategic move by selling more than $6 million worth of Tesla stock over the course of this year. These transactions were executed either as part of a prearranged trading plan or to fulfill his tax obligations pertaining to vested stock options. These insights are gleaned from official submissions made by the company to the Securities and Exchange Commission. Recent data showed that Kirkhorn's net worth amounts to $98 million. But Bloomberg revealed that Tesla's outgoing chief financial officer is leaving the electric vehicle firm with a total wealth of $590 million. This sum encompasses Tesla shares and options that Kirkhorn obtained as part of his compensation over the four years he served as the finance leader for the company headquartered in Austin, Texas. A substantial portion of Kirkhorn's compensation as the finance chief was structured in the form of company shares and options, as stated in official documents filed with the Securities and Exchange Commission. Bloomberg reports that Kirkhorn's Tesla stock options are valued at around $550 million, representing the largest portion of the departing CFO's total wealth. Wow, that's a massive amount. Everyone is being overwhelmed with his income and wants to bag the same. So either we would aspire to be as smart as a CFO that he is, or we try investing and learn financial management as early as now. Well, Stealth Well Society offers various financial management courses. These courses will give you a head start on achieving financial stability sooner than your peers. We understand your ambition to succeed early, and to support that, we offer exclusive insights into financial management. Stay up to date with the latest financial information and gain access to valuable resources by subscribing to our channel. Furthermore, we have an all-encompassing personal finance course priced at just $97 designed to help you discreetly accumulate wealth. As a bonus, when you click the link in the description, you'll receive a complimentary copy of our personal finance ebook. Tesla has, over time, grappled with the challenge of maintaining consistent leadership across various key positions within the organization. It is noteworthy that this pattern is not an anomaly when it comes to the position of Chief Financial Officer, CFO, which Zachary Kirkhorn occupied. Kirkhorn's departure isn't the sole instance of resignation we've observed this year, as there have been several other CFO resignations in recently. 
The trend of rotating CFOs, which originated in 2022, has endured into the initial half of 2023. This ongoing pattern has been propelled by a range of challenges, including inflation, heightened interest rates, disruptions in supply chains, and a waning consumer demand. These economic pressures have led several companies to undertake restructuring efforts and enact changes in leadership, which have even impacted the role of the CFO. Outlined below are notable instances of CFO resignations both within the current year and projected for the upcoming fiscal year. Uber has officially announced the departure of its long-serving chief financial officer, Nelson Chai, who stepped down on January 5th of the following year. Alessandro Corsi, chief financial officer of the Italian luxury conglomerate Salvatore Ferragamo, will be resigning on September 30th as he embarks on a new professional journey. In 2024, Steve Kaminsky is set to retire as CFO at Instructure. Vanessa Hudson, contest CFO, has assumed the role of the airline's first female CEO in its century-old history. A new CFO appointment is anticipated to be announced soon. After a 35-year tenure with United Airlines, CFO Gerald Laterman plans to retire in 2024. Matt Breyers, Wise's current CFO, will step down in 2024 to facilitate his recovery from a cycling accident. This has triggered an immediate search for a new CFO. Vodafone has elevated CFO Margarita Della Valle to the position of CEO, and the CFO role will be filled through an executive search. John Mortimer, CFO of Dr. Martins, is retiring. The CFO of Bath & Body Works has departed, prompting an ongoing executive search for a successor. PayPal CFO Blake Georgensen has resigned, and the search for a replacement is underway, with Gabrielle Rabinovich temporarily assuming the role of interim CFO. Now, why should individuals outside the realm of corporate giants like Tesla concern themselves with this development? While we may not all helm corporations of Tesla's magnitude and achievement, the trajectory of events unfolding here carries valuable lessons for those who aspire to establish and grow their own businesses. Indeed, everyone embarks on their journey from a starting point, and the experiences and outcomes from instances such as this can offer illuminating insights, particularly in the realm of accounting, a cornerstone of successful entrepreneurship. According to ET Intelligence Group, the departure or selection of a new chief financial officer, CFO, particularly during challenging periods, ought to be a matter of investor concern. While the resignation of an auditor is a signal that comes after the fact, the exit of a CFO can serve as a relatively early indication of deteriorating conditions within the company. Certainly, not every departure of a chief financial officer signifies operational shortcomings within a company. In numerous instances, it might simply be a regular occurrence of the CFO leaving for more promising opportunities. However, when a company that is already performing below par experiences a shift in its CFO, this should not escape the attention of investors. In such scenarios, indications of weakness in the company's stock may have already emerged and could potentially be exacerbated after the CFO transition. CFOs who effectively leverage the complete capabilities of data analytics will occupy a central role within the business, providing profound insights and actionable forecasts that drive their companies forward. However, executing a comprehensive digital transformation and adequately preparing the finance department for this shift is a challenging endeavor. It demands careful planning, continuous monitoring, and seamless collaboration. For instance, CFOs must contemplate orchestrating the involvement of the entire organization to bring about change. Ensuring alignment among various stakeholders reduces resistance and cultivates a streamlined function. Constructing a team with a transformative mindset, assembling the right team is pivotal for a successful digital transformation. Employees should be receptive to change and enthusiastic about acquiring new knowledge. Nurturing ongoing change. Digital transformation is a continuous journey rather than a one-time event. CFOs should imbue a culture of perpetual assessment and enhancement.
As regular individuals aspiring to expand our wealth and establish a business, what lessons can we draw from this situation? It's undeniable that for anyone striving to excel in entrepreneurship, investments, and various methods of generating wealth, the accounting aspect of this domain can be intricate. Thus, it becomes imperative for us to attain a degree of proficiency in this realm to avoid being deceived or, alternatively, engage the services of an accountant to guide us through these complex terrains. Naturally, whether our journey is progressing smoothly or encountering some turbulence, we certainly wouldn't want our many financial overseers, accountants in other words, to abandon us and confront a multitude of issues. Certainly, here are some tips to help you maintain a harmonious working relationship with your accountant. Clear communication. Establish open and regular lines of communication with your accountant. Provide them with all necessary information and updates about your financial situation, business goals, and any changes that might affect your financial activities. Set expectations. Clearly define your expectations and needs from the beginning. Discuss the frequency of meetings, preferred modes of communication, and the level of detail you require in financial reports. Collaborative approach. Treat your accountant as a trusted partner in your financial journey. Involve them in major financial decisions and seek their input on strategies to optimize tax benefits, financial planning, and business growth. Timely documentation. Ensure timely and accurate record keeping. Provide your accountant with organized and well-documented financial records, receipts, invoices, and any relevant paperwork. This will facilitate their work and help avoid unnecessary delays or errors. Stay informed. Stay informed about relevant financial regulations, tax laws, and industry trends. This knowledge will enable more meaningful discussions with your accountant and help you make informed decisions. Be responsive. Respond promptly to any queries or requests for information from your accountant. Timely responses can help prevent potential issues and ensure that your financial matters are handled smoothly. Respect their expertise. Recognize and respect your accountant's professional expertise. Trust their advice and recommendations, especially in areas where they have specialized knowledge, such as tax planning and financial analysis. Regular check-ins. Schedule regular check-in meetings to review your financial situation, discuss goals, and address any concerns. These meetings can help you stay on track and make necessary adjustments to your financial strategies. Feedback and appreciation. Provide constructive feedback when necessary, but also express appreciation for their efforts. A positive working relationship involves mutual respect and acknowledgement of each other's contributions. Plan ahead. Anticipate key financial events and consult with your accountant well in advance. This could include major business decisions, expansions, or changes in personal financial circumstances. Stay organized. Maintain an organized system for tracking financial documents and records. This will not only help your accountant, but also make it easier for you to access information when needed. Continuous learning. Stay curious and willing to learn about financial matters. The more you understand, the more effectively you can work with your accountant to achieve your financial goals. By following these tips, you can build a strong and productive working relationship with your accountant, ensuring that your financial affairs are well-managed and optimized for success.